Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 60 degrees. And moreover, the area of this uh, right triangle uh, is going to be equal to the perimeter of this very same uh, right triangle. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, all these uh, missing sides of this uh, triangle this side uh, a b this side uh, b c and finally this uh, hypotenuse uh, a c as well please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's the action plan to solve this given problem we are going to calculate the area of this uh, given a right triangle and likewise we are going to calculate the perimeter of this triangle as well and then we are going to equate uh, them to solve for the missing uh, side lengths and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees we know this angle is 60 degrees this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore this angle must be 30 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, abc is our 30 60 90 special uh, triangle and here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest uh, angle and this uh, 90 degrees is our uh, largest angle so therefore the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg whereas uh, the side opposite to our uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg and we call this leg uh, as a hypotenuse and in such kind of uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg if the smallest leg is uh, one unit uh, then the longest leg is going to be twice of that one is going to be two units and this third leg has got to be square root of three and in general if i call this uh, smallest leg as our x then our longest leg is going to be two times uh, x and our third leg is going to be x times uh, square root of uh, three so therefore the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle turns out to be this uh, bc length uh, is x this hypotenuse uh, a c length is uh, two times x and finally this uh, side length uh, a b is going to be x times uh, square root of three and now let's recall the perimeter of triangle uh, formula perimeter equals to side length uh, a plus side length b plus uh, side length uh, c in other words uh, the perimeter of this uh, triangle a b c is going to be the sum of all uh, these uh, three individual uh, lengths so therefore let me go ahead and write down the perimeter of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be equal to let me add all those uh, individual lengths uh, x plus uh, 2 times uh, x plus uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 3 now we can see x is in common so i can factor x uh, outside so inside this parenthesis is going to be 3 plus square root of 3 so thus the perimeter of this triangle turns out to be x times 3 plus square root of 3 let me call this our equation number 1 and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times height and here in our case our base is x and the height of this triangle is x times the square root of 3 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half times our base is x times our height is x times square root of 3 thus the area of this uh, triangle abc turns out to be x square times square root of 3 divided by 2 let me call this equation uh, number 2 and now we can see equation 1 represents the perimeter of this triangle whereas the equation 2 represents the area of this very same triangle 
and now we know that area equals to perimeter so therefore I can equate uh, this uh, equal to this one so let me go ahead and write down x square times the square root of 3 divided by 2 is going to be equal to x times 3 plus square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across the board. I'm going to multiply by 2 over here, 2 over here, and 2 over here as well. And here we can see on the left hand side 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore we are ended up with simply x square times the square root of 3 equals to on the right hand side x times 2 times 3 is going to give us 6 plus 2 times the square root of 3. So let me go ahead and move this term to the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next time I have moved uh, this uh, on the other side and now we can see x uh, is in common on both of these terms so therefore I can factor out uh, x uh, as common uh, and inside this bracket uh, is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of 3 and then minus uh, everything inside this parenthesis 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 equals to 0 and now we can see we have these uh, two factors that are equal to 0 so therefore I can separate them I can set uh, x equal to 0 and the other x uh, times the square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times square root of uh, 3 equal to 0 and now we can see that x equal to 0 is not possible. So therefore we are going to reject x equal to 0 scenario. And we are going to accept uh, this uh, other scenario. Let me go ahead and move uh, this uh, on the right hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step I have moved uh, this one uh, on the other side. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by square root of 3 to isolate x. Uh, we can see this cancels out so therefore x value turns out to be 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 divided by square root of uh, 3. And now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of uh, 3. And now we can see square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us uh, simply 3. And at the same time, I'm going to distribute uh, this uh, square root of 3 over here as well. And if we reduce everything, uh, so our x value turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see x value is equal to 2 times square root of 3 plus uh, 2. And that is our BC side length. So therefore our BC length turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 plus 2. And in terms of decimal, uh, BC length is approximately equal to 5.464 uh, uh, units. And now we can see our this uh, hypotenuse length uh, AC is uh, 2 times X. So therefore I put down uh, AC equals to 2 times uh, this uh, X value. So therefore uh, our AC length, uh, if we distribute this to, that is going to give us 4 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 4. So therefore in terms of decimal our AC length turns out to be approximately equal to 10.93 units. And finally let's focus on this uh, other side uh, AB that is being represented by x times square root of 3. So therefore our AB length is going to be square root of 3 times this uh, x value. Let's go ahead and distribute uh, square root of 3. So therefore our AB length turns out to be 2 times the square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 6. And that is going to be approximately equal to 9.464 units. And here are our AB side length, uh, our BC side length uh, and our uh, AC side length. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.